is phenomenal. I mean, this is not just normal stuff. But I have seen a production or in life situation, mother both who are worse than this and still it's working. Hi, welcome to Too Far Tech. So, as promised, this is the second video where I'm going to go ahead and clean this motherboard. Do watch and see the details and you understand why we do this and what is it in for you. Thank as you. As promised in our introductory video, we are going to show you how we're going to clean our motherboards and what we're going to do and how we're going to use these different things to reach to our final destiny clean this motherboard and this graphics card so you can see how we're gonna do this or how good the job is gonna be so if you look closely you can see the kind of dirt on this motherboard is phenomenal I mean this is not just normal stuff but I have seen a production or in life situation motherboards who are worse than this and still it's working there's not much on the back side but as you can see the process of fan that was here has um, sent dirt all over the place so you will see once I'm done with this how this is going to look like so take a clean look about uh, how this is going to look like and finally I managed to find this processor like I said first I'm going to suck it and uh, suck the dust whatever possible and then I'm going to blow it and after that I'm going to see with my brushes how we can deal about that so this is the blower sucker option that I have so if I turn it around this goes into a sucking mode and uh, since it's already plugged in you can hear it's going to be really noisy so I'm going to start the job from here start sucking it and uh, to be honest on those areas I'm going to put the nozzle it's going to focus on those specific places so I can get to those places so I'm going to leave this down here because there is already dust. Ready, aim, fire. see just by sucking because the that uh, machine is really strong as you can see how much of the dust is cleaned out now imagine if I would have actually gone with a wet wipe uh, using this I created a wet wipe or I use these wet wipes and start to clean that dust yeah the, some of the dust is going to get picked up but then some of them are going to get stuck there with the alcohol when it gets dried up it's going to you know form a greasy situation and it's not going to come out and it will be very difficult to get into this area so it's best to suck the dust out then try to blow strongly whatever is left out which i'm going to do next i don't think anything might come out but any uh, bigger loose or um, dust might come out with the blowing which i'm going to do next so i'm going to turn this around and i'm going to lock, i'm going to lock this up so i don't have to carry the thing so i can focus specifically on areas and you might see some dust fly around which is expected so this already looks almost new except for some areas that i need to go in with the brushes you can even see the heat sink for this north bridge, okay, this is an older motherboard, so it has north bridge, it's almost already clean and there was an area that I could not reach with the brush, it looks clean to me, uh, at least visually, and now I'm going to start with the brushes to take out the rest of the stuff that is here, and it's going to be pretty simple, first I'm going to lightly brush with this one, these areas, it doesn't look like stubborn, I think my, this might help with that, see as you can see the dust is coming off, and because these bristles are light, I can kind of use some pressure. Uh, and looking at it, I don't think there is anything that's going to come off. And you can see the dust flying around. So I'm going to roughly just go it without much thought. 
because I just gonna cover the overall area of the bowl and you can see there are a lot of dust flying around so I'm familiar with the boat so I know there's nothing you know standing up that could you know could broken or harm <laughs> Thing that we need to worry about is the static electricity that would rise from using a brush this rough on the motherboard and because i am standing on the ground and i'm touching the metal from time to time uh, i don't think there could be much of static problem here but as you can see the motherboard is spanking new without even going with the smaller brushes or the wipes or anything see now unless there is a reason to use the wipe i wouldn't always wipe a board with alcohol or whatever uh, solution I would use them if it is specifically required now where, where would this come in handy now let's say you know this chip around here or this mosfets around here has some dust that is stuck and i cannot reach with the brush so what i would do i would either use this or even these areas if something is stuck i would uh, go with this and this can specifically hit those areas and you can see some dust flying off and i would actually go with this brush specific areas like uh, the chip I mentioned before just touch up and if I don't see much of an issue I would uh, complete so I would go ahead with the brush in each area uh, just to be sure that there's no anything stuck because this way brush can access smaller parts so I would go about with the brush but since it looks all okay and I would use this brush if there was something literally stuck, some like a hard stuff around here or something. You know, it, it really helps. It will. I wouldn't roughly rub this because it's kind of hard. So if there is some hard dirt, I would just be carefully using it because these bristles are really hard. So so far, everything seems to be okay. Now, what is the next step I could, I could possibly do is dismantle this uh, north bridge and reapply the thermal paste. I'm not going to do that because uh, this is a useless board. I don't want to waste thermal paste on that. But that is also an option on older boards to remove the pin from here and uh, remove this one and then reapply thermal paste after cleaning this. And these solutions would come in handy if I have something stubborn stuck. For example, in this one, probably it might be necessary to use them to clean the board because as you can see, this dust is not going to just uh, go away from blowing. Because the dirt is going to get stuck to the board now i have to go with the clothes to clean it so here is a very basic cleanup that i've done very quickly normally i take time go into the details of each chip and clean them and then i test them i would bench test them uh, for a few hours you just processor and the cooler mounted to see if this is a stable system and the cleaning did not cause any kind of problems typically i would bench test for before going into cleaning and after cleaning to see if this is uh, going to be a successful project i understand my video regarding the motherboard and the explanation is pretty long it was really necessary to explain the reason why i'm going to do things in a certain way so you have seen how we clean all the motherboards have you have seen how we went successfully to ensure that this motherboard is clean to the notch as you can see if you look there is not even a spot of dust in it compared to what it was before it is plain and clean and same as new so all the dust that was here in the beginning is gone and now is crystal clear and this is what we do and uh, this is how we're going to clean all our motherboards before we put it into the computer and sending it to you thank you have a great day